happy morning from Hollywood Studios. It is such a gorgeous day. It's supposed to be like 78 as the high. The park is super busy this morning. We are rope dropping today. Um, our friend Sue got caught in line. You guys have probably met Sue if you've watched the channel before. Jen is here, are you ready? I'm ready. This For... is gonna be good. It is. It is. <laughs> are you wearing you're wearing a Star Wars shirt today? I am. I'm all prepared. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing a Beverly shirt to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, you were. <laughs> oh, well. the, I mean, a Beverly shirt in Magic Kingdom is still okay. Hey, Club Cool is back, so yeah. you can wear it to Epcot too. So we're gonna try to get the paid lightning lane for Rise, but it's almost nine o'clock and we have to get through this entire line in order to get that, so we will see. It's supposed to still be available, so fingers crossed. <laughs> So we tried at nine o'clock to get Rise and it's fully sold out for the whole day. So I'm gonna keep checking like um, back and forth and see how it goes, but it looks like it's pretty solidly booked out right now. We did get Mickey and Minnie's. Mickey and Minnie's is a paid ride, but the earliest we could get Mickey and Minnie's is at 3.30 p.m. today and it's just now nine o'clock. So just for reference, that's a very long time in advance to be able to get that paid fast pass. So they do go really, really fast our current situation so we're slowly moving i'm walking around feeling free thinking about what's happened to me from july up till now don't know where don't know how lately i've come to realize that i can't see it in your eyes so it's true i'm so glad we just did a little pit stop at Muppet Vision 3D before we got in the standby line. We're getting in the standby line today for Rise. It's showing 75 minutes, which actually isn't too bad for park open, so I'm hoping that it's going to stay around that time. We will see. Um, I think the line is actually right here on the other side of the bridge before you get into Galaxy's Edge. So uh, we're gonna start a timer and make sure, Jess, Ooh, good what, morning. what you got there? I got a breakfast Bud Light. See it started off. <laughs> Just a breakfast Bud Light. Breakfast of champions, my friend. <laughs> we are in line still, and we decided to cancel our current Lightning Lane, which was for Rock and Roller Coaster. And I did a little of what. Um, all ears does it's called fiddle faddling or that's what molly calls it where you just continually refresh and slinky dog was booked full solid for the entire day we by miracle by refreshing constantly with that as my top selection or my only selection in my tip board got an 1105 which is perfect we should just be done with this ride at that time so you will have an hour to use slinky dog um, so 11.05 to 12.05 is our window to use Slinky, which is perfection because Galaxy's Edge is just right near Toy Story Land, so it worked out super well. We didn't expect that we were going to get on Slinky today, so do some fiddle faddling, keep refreshing, keep refreshing, keep refreshing. They're either going there because they owe someone there a great deal of credit, or they're trying to run from some sort. And you definitely wouldn't be headed to Tatooine. You're not on the rise to Oh no! 
The location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5. Your turn. Was it everything you thought it was going to be? Yeah, it was. It was very, very good. I was <laughs> surprised. So. And going outside was so fun. Yeah, it's, I mean it was. I, I have no words. It was very, very good. <laughs> nice. And the wait wasn't long because we were no, outside. yeah, the wait was seventy. It ended up being seventy-five minutes. It didn't feel too bad. We were plus we were really fresh in the morning. Sue, your first full ride. What did awesome, you think? Awesome, awesome. Yes, yeah, good. totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, totally worth the wait. It's a great ride. Um, also, the best part is R five. He is the cutest droid ever. Um, they're oh, they're doing a lot of magic shots lately, and this is one of those areas where you can get a magic shot. So there's, but there's a really big line right now, so I think we're gonna probably skip it. We are headed into our Slinky Dog Lightning Lane. Standby is 80 minutes for Slinky right now. was a success. Did you enjoy your slinky ride? Yeah, it was good. We got right on it. We did. The lightning lane is really fast. That's the nice part is like when you get it, it's actually... Yeah, it's cool. Well, it was probably five minutes, I would say. Um, we're going to be heading... We're going to try Baseline Tap House to get in as like a walk-in, like a walk-up because we need some food really badly and Jesse may need some more beers in his system. Well, we'll see. I'm going to get decent too. Yeah. His breakfast beer. It's still in there. We like a beer fill tank <laughs> on the vlog. Best part of Hollywood Studios is going to be up to your left hand side. We'll do a little zoom for you. Daddy though. We stopped in at Baseline Tap House for a midday snack. We're splitting the charcuterie board between the four of us. It came with pickles, cheese, bread, whole grain mustard, sausages, graps, and 
blue cheese. Did you get gin? Little orange cider. Yummy. Is that the same one you had the other night at no. Boathouse? Different? That was um, just a blood, that was a blood orange oh. this is a cider. This is, and it's delicious. Nice. Jess, what kind of drink did you get? Yeah, stone delicious IPA. Oh yeah, you like a stone IPA. Sue, what was your beer? North Coast Red Seal Ale. Ooh, dying. Fancy. I got a strawberry lemonade because I'm going to get wild today. For our main appetizer, Jesse and I both chose the coffee rubbed ribeye beef puff. <laughs> it's a ribeye steak encrusted in coffee stacked onto a puff pastry with some kind of white sauce and green flowery kind of green vegetable substance. It was quite delicious. Um, I would recommend this. Your first impression, sir. So Baseline Tap House was awesome. They are a complete like quick service. So you walk up and then there's tons of places here. I'm gonna flip the camera to show you. There are tons of places outside to sit. And um, we're sitting around this like really fun tree and we've got all these bar stools. The, the food is really light and really delicious. And Jesse and Sue and Jen really liked all the beers. So um, if you need a non-alcoholic drink, the strawberry lemonade was really good. It has actual wild strawberries and it. it was really nice. So this place comes highly recommended. I'm very impressed. And it was so fast to get into, which was really convenient. They don't have any like walk up queue or anything that you have to go to. It's just straight quick service. So I got a lightning lane from Fiddle Faddling. So I just kept refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. We got a lightning lane for Tower of Terror at 12.20 and it's already 12.33 right now. So we're gonna start motivating and heading that direction. And go ride Tower. Jesse hasn't been on Tower for like three years. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. All right, let's go. This is why Hollywood Studios wins at Christmas. So not only do they have a stunning Christmas tree and all of the vintage decorations all around, like look how stunning these vintage decorations are, but they have on their umbrellas, they're Christmas trees. Is that so fun? And then Gertie is holding on to a Christmas ball, but this year it's for the 50th and it actually says 50. I'm gonna zoom in on it so you guys can see it. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along just singing a song, barreling through the snow, bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go, on this cold December day, I am piloting my the work to be done on my Christmas run is a monster. We were in the Tower of Terror lightning lane, which was pretty fast, and Goofy was eating. He was like standing on the balcony, kind of waving to the people who were in line for Tower of Terror, because there's not really anything back there. It was very bizarre. But they were super duper, it was super duper nice to meet him because he was able to like interact with us a little bit. He was trying to tell us something about the sun and I wasn't quite sure. I wish the character attendant would have helped us to figure out what he was yeah, trying to tell no, us. absolutely. It was just like pointing up to the sun and he was yeah. just like, oh, but whatever. Yeah, nice. it was really cute. He was wearing like a vacation outfit. It was adorable. Okay. It's been less than like a minute in the lightning lane. It's been so fast. The Twilight Zone. You are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension. Yes, we are. haunted Clarence doll. Hey Clarence! What's up Clarence? So outside of the exit of Tower of Terror, here's where you can get some collectible medallions. They have the Cogsworth, Goofy, Baruni, and BB-8. And they are five dollars each or four for fifteen dollars. And they are so cute. I'll show you a close-up on the 
haul video and I will link that above and down below for you guys. But this was the first one we've actually seen since we've been here. So we're gonna do some more looking to see if we can find some more of them. It's treat yourself time after Tower of Terror. If you have been watching the channel, you may know that Jesse, my husband, has been trying to get hand scooped ice cream for the past three Disney trips. You've waited three times. <laughs> and it's finally happening. So they have been closed because of COVID. So now they're finally open, so we'll be able to get it. What kind are you getting? Straw, of course. Dipped ice cream was a success. I got the holiday shake. I haven't tried it yet, but it's got a full flipping donut on it. Jen, mint chocolate? Mint chocolate. Yummy. How is it? It's delicious. Is it? Yeah. Jess, was it worth the three-year wait? It was. I made it into an ice cream cone, too. Nice. Because it, it came in a cup, and then it had, like, a cone on top. Mm -hmm. Sue? Delicious. Best day ever. Best day, best day hand ever. Dip. Double hand dip. Yeah, technically it is. Okay. We're going to try this. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. That is so good. I've also got to give a shout-out to Lauren. She let me know that she made a very special, beautiful... Um, hand dipped <laughs> shake for me for the channel so Lauren if you're watching thank you so much for making such a delicious shake this is so good so this is like a vanilla shake with peppermint syrup and it's got crushed candy canes all around the edge and it is so pepperminty if you love peppermint this is quite the treat I don't know if I'm gonna get to the donut but the shake is amazing I'm so impressed. I understand why Jesse's been sad about this being closed for three years. <laughs> Just took a little bite of the donut, and it is definitely like, it's like the cake part of a ho-ho. Ho-ho-ho. So Donald needs me to call him later, so... Stay tuned for an update. Yeah. Single tear, I'm so excited. All dark and dreamy. Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Renner. Ever? Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Oh. Boo. Yeah. Yeah. He is my boo. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Even when I'm with Crazy old, but I like you. Okay, that's great. Really? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never had one lesson. Yeah, okay. Actually, I have a little holiday surprise for you. For all of you. You, you do? do? Surprise! What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Season's greeting to everyone. Oh, <laughs> that's me. I like warm hugs. Especially during the holidays. <laughs> oh, I love baking cookies and the play the shape of ballet. And who doesn't love knitting tiny sweaters for kids at all? Okay, can I change my answer? Yeah. That's weird. No one said fruitcake. No. such a lovely surprise being able to see the holiday version of Frozen Ever After. I did not know that they actually did a, a holiday version, so that was really cool. And Olaf came and surprised us all, so that was really exciting because his meet and greet is no longer here, right? So it was just super fun. Amazing, right? Amazing. <laughs> I've seen that multiple times. Best one I've ever seen. Yeah. So good. It was so fun to see Olaf. I was, that was such oh. a surprise. Everyone yeah. gasped when it happened. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> And the actors in this one were so good. They were. So funny. They were yeah, super duper good. funny. The puns were like on point today. <laughs> Want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you wait. That was the first
first time we rode in the very back of the train and I think it was better because you got to spend a lot more time in some of the rooms. Then second time, what do you yes, think? Yes, it's, a, I mean, it's a great ride. It, it is, it's worth, I mean, I don't know that I would want to wait an hour for it. Yeah. With the Lightning Lane. It's a really good ride though, very good. Yeah. Yeah, I would say anything under 35 minutes, it would definitely be worth riding. It's such a great ride. And if you're a big fan of the Mickey shorts, it's definitely something you'll love. But I actually think we're gonna head out of the park now. It's time for us to head back to the VRBO for a little break. And then we're gonna meet up with you guys at Epcot. Three hours later. Hello, friends! We have made it to Epcot and oh, what? So the ball is doing its thing, it's beacons of magic, possibly, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is like something that's always out after dark, but <laughs> it's stunning. It was just a peppermint, which was really fun and really festive. We made it. We're going to be heading to our dining reservation in about an hour. Um, I'm going to try to talk everyone into going on living with the land because there is a Christmas overlay. And then also we have to go on Figment because Figment, but also Figment is wearing a Christmas sweater. It's the best Christmas fart ride in the whole area. <laughs> You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with no the beacons of magic because this is insanity. I could literally watch this forever. It's Christmas overlay time at Living with the Land. I heard that the best time to go on this is at night when all the Christmas lights are lit up. So I hope it's still open because it does tend to close early. In enormous use and sometimes every of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Respect guys, 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 guys. Some of the oh answers are being discovered just ahead. Okay. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. We climb down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me. Carolers are singing outside our door. Lovely songs we all heard before. As they walk 10 out of 10. Love the Christmas overlay. That was good, yeah. I'm glad they don't have the barriers in the way anyway. And I could see all the fun things in the land. Oh yeah, yeah, last time Jesse was here, they still had the COVID barriers. What did you think about the Christmas lights? It was good. I like the land better when it's daylight. I like the enhanced Christmas version. That was really fun. They had so many different Christmas lights and they also had lots of fun decorations like bows and ornaments and stuff that I didn't realize they were gonna have. So that was really fun. Something that I wanted to mention about living with the land is that when I was a little girl, we used to take field trips to the Topeka, Kansas Museum. And every time we ride that ride, that is all I can think about. It like brings me back to childhood. So I know some of you are from the Midwest. If you've ever been to Topeka, I believe it's called the Natural History Museum. You'll have to let me know down below if you think it's very similar to living with the land because that triggers so many memories for me, that whole ride based off of like that natural history museum in Topeka. <laughs> we will have to see Figment another day because it is 8.06 and we are 
late for our reservation, but we can wave at him. Hi! He will actually be in not the next vlog, but the vlog after that. We are definitely going to have to go see Figment in his Christmas sweater. But we are off to Italy because we have got to catch the reservation. We made it just in the nick of time. We were 12 minutes past our reservation time and they also accommodated an extra person. So we got really lucky. It's clearly not that busy in Epcot tonight. So that's probably why. But here we are in Via Napoli. I have shown this one time before on my channel, but it was a very, very long time ago. This is the Italian restaurant and the Italian pavilion. And they have a really cool pizza oven. Their pizza ovens are men that have their mouth open and like their beards kind of draped over the center of the oven so the pizza goes inside of their mouths, which is really funny. This evening at dinner at Via Napoli, we chose the calamari fritti appetizer. The calamari was tender and lightly fried and it was a great presentation overall and a good example of what calamari should be like. For my main entree tonight at Vianopoli, I'm dining on the Branzino. It's a fried fish with a sauteed green peas, uh, squishy tomatoes, and some lemon that you could use to spray onto the dish. Uh, the fish is great and you, you may know from my other videos that I'm kind of a Branzino guy and this dish just really solidified that. Overall, Great presentation, great food. Tonight at Via Napoli, Jen and I shared the prosciutto e melone pizza, or as I like to call it, the prosh melone pizza. <laughs> it was so good. It had cantaloupe on it. It had super thinly sliced prosciutto. Then it was kind of topped with arugula as well. So it was like just so fresh and refreshing tasting. It's a white pizza, so it had white sauce instead of red. Overall, super unique, super interesting. I think if you like um, like pineapple on pizza, for example, if you like that sort of vibe, I think that you would like this. So you should try it. It's such a unique pizza. We had some Italia, how was it? It was really good, yeah. I got that Branzino fish again. It was like fried skin up, delicious mm -hmm. kind of fish. With some beans and stuff, it was good. That was the same uh, type of fish that he had at Tiffin's last time he was in. Walt yeah, Disney World. They're both perfectly cooked and delicious. So that's awesome. I'm a Branzino guy you now. Yeah, now a Branzino guy. <laughs> um, I had the pizza. It was super delicious. Really unique flavors put together. The melon and prosciutto is really nice. Sue, how was your ravioli? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good meal. Jen. It's delicious as always. As always. Yeah. That was her. That's her favorite type of pizza from Viennapoli. So we shared that type of pizza. So we are gonna probably try to find a place for the fireworks. They're gonna start in a little bit. We've staked out what we hope is a good spot for Harmonious. <laughs> so um, the Italian Pavilion is right behind us. Jesse went to go get a drink, shocking. And this is our view currently. So it looks like there's like maybe a wedding going on up here. And then uh, the center of where Harmonious will be is like right over here. So we thought, Jen made a good point. These people paid for this spot, so clearly it's good. So we're just gonna be right behind them and see how this works. But I heard that there's not really a bad spot, but you do kind of want to be able to see that center ring. So we're gonna try and uh, see how this goes. But I'm really excited that we get to see it. I got a rosé. I don't know what brand it was actually. It's pretty good though. Are you a rosé man now? I am, yeah. Rosé. the only champagne they had there, so. Uh, rosé all day. Rosé all day. <laughs> Who? Epcot Forever what? 
<laughs> that is in. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, first of all, the center looks like Ursula, so I knew I was gonna like it. <laughs> all the tentacles going back and forth, and all the different things. I was. It lost me a little bit at like Jungle Book and those sorts of things. But they're using like the songs that tear at our hearts from Happily Ever After, like the hero song from Hercules that they used to touch the touch the sky they also used out there so those three songs are such like you know heart wrenching type of songs um, but wow uh, thoughts wow. I, wow no wow awesome <laughs> Jesse it was really good it was really good yeah there were so many fireworks i don't think anybody talks about how much fireworks are in there it was impressive it was so impressive yeah. Um, we'll definitely have to see that again. But guys, we had so much fun hanging out with you. It has been a lovely day. Disney uh, Genie Plus. If you um, have any comments on it or let us know what you think about it down below. I'm very curious to know how you're feeling about it. Um, today it was definitely worth it and I definitely feel like I learned a lot. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how everyone navigates this. But we are headed out. We are going back to the VRBO. We have about a 30 minute drive ahead of us. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye Epcot.